Hello, everybody. Hey, how's it going? Happy New Year. 2024. Hey, we just wanted to kick off the new year, new month, January, and give you our market update. Here come the statistics. Yes, there was quite a lot of movement, as you can imagine, in 24. It's been a little anomaly since 2020, but if you can believe it, it's we're going on four years away that that was. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to go over home prices. They continue to increase. Um, L.A. County up 23.8%. Uh, from September 22 to 23 is what that stat is. And San Diego County up 18.2%. Um, California has had a longstanding housing shortage um, that we started in this business decades ago. And I think one of the first conferences I ever went to, they were talking about the macro shortage of property in California. Well, that is coming home to roost now. It was true back then. It's more true today. There's just not enough properties for people to buy. And this new construction, at least all around our area, they're building apartments. They're not building condos that you could even buy if you wanted to. Yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with the cities themselves and the state itself, where they're putting a lot of low-income restrictions on builders building single-family houses, building condominiums. There are no restrictions on apartments. Yeah, so the housing increase, the median home price in L.A. County up 38%, San Diego County up 48% since 2020. So it, these numbers are just crazy. Um, the new listings are increasing at this time. Like now the holidays are over. People are all back in mode and, inc and listings are increasing, which is great news because they are going into escrow. I just had a conversation with our escrow officer and asked her what she's seeing this last a week of January after the holidays and she is saying it is picking up we're having a little surge here and she is not seeing uh, multiple counter offers on these deals so if they're priced right um, they are going into escrow and even with loans so they're not all cash deals so we're having a little surge and they are not multiple counter offer that's right however multiple counter offers are on the horizon it wouldn't surprise us that within 30 days, you're going to be seeing 10, 20, and 30 offers for every property that comes on the market. Rates have been bubbling around, slipping down slightly. And as that happens, more buyers come into the market, but we're really not seeing a surge in sellers. We are seeing a surge in activity. Everybody we're talking to, oh, we're busy. We're busy. Everybody all of a sudden got very busy in the last week. Yeah, we think there's, I still think there's a pent up de demand in the funnel that people haven't moved for all the lifestyle reasons that they move. Death, divorce, diamonds, marriage. Uh, and now it's coming after a couple of years here that people have figured out their new work situations and living situations, and they really are ready to move. They are. And as they're getting ready to move, they want properties to buy. We're seeing a lot of absolutely people soliciting off-market properties, mm -hmm. trying to get them on market. We're doing the same thing because we have so many buyers and there's just not properties out there for them to buy. Yeah, if you are thinking about putting your house on the market, we advise you to get it on sooner rather than later because we have a feeling this spring season is going to be crazy. Yes, absolutely. And experience does count when it comes to this. Yes. You don't want somebody inexperienced starting off with probably one of your most valuable assets when it's time to come to the party you want to go with the king and prom queen <laughs> if you uh, would like a professional equity assessment we'd be happy to sit down and talk to you about it whether you're ready to sell now or in the future we're happy to talk about it your equity has grown quite a bit in the last few years maybe more than you think you might have other things you want to do maybe you want to go back to school buy a vacation home buy an investment property and maybe you can tap your equity to do that there's a lot of different things going on i mean we looked at 48 percent basically in the last three years mm -hmm. and that is broad and across the board some areas are up over a hundred percent but it's yeah. almost a street by street market these days and it's been that way for a long time but your street may be one of those streets where it's one of those that have gone way, way up. Prices have gone up 312% in California since 1991, if you want that little stat there. 2024 is also an election year. Yay! So it's going to be crazy. Headlines left, headlines right, headlines black, headlines white. It's going to be just crazy. So don't listen to the headlines. 
That's right. And don't think somebody's not going to try to buy your vote because it seems like everybody wants to buy your vote these days. Mm -hmm. And you know, the net worth of a homeowner is around $400,000 versus a renter at $10,000. So uh, we always advise get in the market as quick as you can and stay there as long as you can um, to uh, increase your net worth. Absolutely. And it's one of those deals where people that have bought homes in the last year or two have seen substantial growth in their equity. And that equity translates into the 400000 versus the 10000 mm -hmm. You just can't make money as fast as it's been going up. Right. That's right. Um, in Ventura County stats here, sold listings are down 26.5% from 22 to 23 at, at year end. So that's kind of about what the what the market's gone down because the listings are down uh, about the same, 28%. Solds are down 26 and a half. So they go hand in hand. But the headline only says, you know, sold properties are down. Well, they're down because listings are down. So they never tell the whole story if you're only reading the headlines. <laughs> I don't think they ever will. I don't think they ever did. No. So the real story is right here. As the listings go down, sales go down. Listings yeah. go up, sales go up. It's very okay. simple math. Yeah, and even with the interest rates doubling over this time in the last couple of years, the equity has continued to go up because prices have continued to go up. So we see as all the, the experts are predicting that rates are going to come down this year, of course, election year, um, that we expect them to come down, that it's just going to create more demand in the market, hence pushing prices up and creating this just continued low inventory kind of crazy market. Low rates aren't going to do anything but push prices up. That's right. That's what's going to happen. That's right. So if you're thinking about ma uh, making a move, uh, now's the time because everyone's pr predicting and we feel it. We're getting a lot of calls. All of a sudden, our phones are lighting up and they are for everyone. I mean, several things that I was been watching that have been on the market 40 days, 50 days, they're going into escrow this week. So everyone kind of took the holidays off, but boom, it's back. So we need more properties to fill that pipeline and uh, the properties are selling. That's right. So 2024, it's here. The predictions are higher pricing, lower interest rates. Just all makes sense. Yep. So let us know. We're happy to talk about real estate. We love to talk about it. You know where to find us. Carrieandlisa.com. Your real estate edge.